Welcome to Delta's Zoom Whiteboard series. Today we'll explore some advanced tools embedded within the Zoom Whiteboard, empowering you to collaborate, annotate, and visualize ideas seamlessly. The Zoom Whiteboard is a versatile digital tool that fosters collaboration, engagement, and active learning. The Zoom Whiteboard offers a digital canvas similar to an endless virtual space where users can engage in dynamic collaboration and active learning. Now that we have gone over some basic tools and uses within the Zoom Whiteboard, it's time to talk about the more advanced tools available within this program. If you missed the video on our basic tools, click the link in the description and start there, then come back to learn more about our advanced features. When within your whiteboard, on your left-hand toolbar, you will see an icon at the very bottom with several shapes and figures. This is the More Tools icon. When you click on it, another crop of tools will appear. And here you can see some of your more advanced tools. Mind Map, Table, Kanban, Card, Chart, and Embed. The Mind Map tool simplifies the creation of mind maps, offering ease and effectiveness. Upon clicking the icon highlighted in blue, you can initiate the first cell of your mind map. Simply click anywhere on your board to generate. Customize text, color, and style as needed. Utilize the plus symbols to add cells which will gradually form a detailed and complex diagram. Adapt, drag, and edit cells to suit your preferences, creating an intricate mind map effortlessly. The table tool mirrors the functionality of table creators found in programs like Docs and Word. When activated or turned blue, you can select a desired table size. Click anywhere on your board to place the table. Each cell comes with general text settings. In post-creation, you can add cells above or next to existing ones. Drag and select multiple cells to access various editing features, which enhances table customization. The Kanban tool is an exciting feature for task organization. When you click on the Kanban icon and it highlights in blue, you can click on your board to generate your first Kanban chart. It initially presents with predetermined categories, but these can be edited and customized to fit your needs. Each category has its own settings accessible via the three dot menu, allowing you to adjust color, add columns, or delete selected ones. Once your Kanban is tailored to your liking, you can add cards by pressing Add in any of the categories. Each card can be titled, assigned, scheduled, and assigned a status or color. These cards are flexible and adaptable and can be moved around the Kanban to reflect changes in status or organization. If the Kanban tool does not suit your needs, you also have the option to use cards individually. By clicking on the Cards tool, it will turn blue like the others. Selecting it will prompt you to add a new Zoom card. Once selected again, click anywhere on the board to use a card independently without the use of a Kanban chart. You can then perform the same editing actions as before to customize the card to your requirements. The chart tool is an advanced feature designed for diagramming purposes. It offers several options, including vertical bar chart, horizontal bar chart, line chart, and pie chart. When you click on the chart tool and it is highlighted in blue, you can choose the desired chart type. After making your selection, click anywhere on your board to place your chart. Once placed, you have access to various settings. 
You can change the type of chart or edit the data within the chart. Clicking Edit Data enables you to adjust the data, including labels, series, and showing or hiding values on the chart. Adding a title to the chart enhances organization and clarity, and the chart will adjust in real time as these changes are made. Plus signs here allow you to add sections as needed. If you've entered your data, but you're not satisfied with the chart type, you can easily switch to another option. The information entered will adapt seamlessly to the new chart type, which can offer flexibility and versatility in visualizing data. The embed content feature is the final advanced tool we'll explore today. This feature offers greater flexibility in including content that may not be possible with the upload tool. With this feature, you can add content from platforms like YouTube, Vimeo, and more. However, it's advisable to conduct some research to determine which content can be embedded into a Zoom whiteboard. If I wanted to embed a YouTube video, for instance, I'll simply click on the Embed Content tool and paste the embed code or the link into the text box provided. Upon clicking Embed, the video will appear on your Zoom whiteboard and be visible to all participants. This feature enhances the richness of your presentations and even collaboration within your whiteboard. The Zoom Whiteboard series equips you with an array of tools to enhance your digital collaboration and productivity. For further exploration of Zoom Whiteboard capabilities, be sure to check out our linked resources in the description box below.